Well, hello everybody, it's me, Tri-State EDC, with a Priority Mail Fire box from Robert Renone. Robbie Bobby, didn't know you were sending me something. Also, nice Christmas packaging. Look at that, isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? Big fan. Uh, we're gonna bust this thing open. I don't know. I'm sure he's told me what it is and why he was sending it and what for. I don't remember. Okay. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Simple as that, really. But we're gonna bust her open uh, together. Right now. That's right, Robert. Thank you so much. What are we going to use to open this thing up? You know, like, it's been a minute. Let's use the old Kun Wu Chad. Let's get the Chad in the game, huh? What do we got here? What do we got, Robert? God help me. You know? Yoink. Hope I didn't hurt it. Hello? Two things. It's always two things with you people, huh? What do we got? Is there a note? Please be a note. Uh, nothing left in there. Is it? Goodbye. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Boker and a Civivi right off the bat here. What's going on here? A few knives for the Christmas giveaway. Hot diggity dog. Bop. Kisses, man. Thank you, sir. Well, let's check it out. First off, uh, Boker plus Catalyst Soy Org Black Orange. Okay, and a Civivi pouch. Let's start with the Boker, because I kind of know what it is. A little bit. Not really. Uh, we have a nice magnetic clasp on the box. Boker, I see you. Hello. Oh, oh, dude, I know what this is. Comes with a tool, by the way, in the box to disassemble. Nice touch, Boker. The Boker Catalyst. I've seen this and I've always liked the way it looks. Boker always has really nice designs. The build quality's shoddy at best, nine times out of ten. But this is a nice looking uh, Kniffy here. Stainless. It's a steel frame lock. Not tight. Not titanium. Not titanium, but that's fine. I like the two-tone. Solid black on the lock bar side. Nice deep carry clip. Bright orange on the show side. G10. Nice texture to it. Big old flipper tab. Jimped uh, G10 backspacer here too. Crown spine. Nice touch, Boker. Well done. Centering looks good. All right. Well, let's fl uh, let me give you a size comparison real quick. It's a little guy. Spider Co Pair 3. Smaller than that. Right about rock wall size. I'd say right at rock wall size. Tactile knife code rock wall. Yep. Little guy. Little cutie. Got a uh, hooked flipper tab with a hole in it for some reason. But let's flick her open. Decent detent, beautiful little kind of subtle clip point going on here. 440C on the blade steel, so yeah, a budget boker, but a very nice knife. Might have to touch up that edge a little bit. Doesn't seem great. Um, yeah, clean, clean looking little flipper, little budget flipper. Running on, running on, dude. I can't, I cannot find my flashlight. It looks like bearings, but they're not very good ones. Um, oh god, detent's good though. Damn. Open size comparison real quick. Spider-Co Bear 3. Yeah, smaller. Rock wall. About rock wall size. Kind of, oops. Oops. Uh, kind of similar to rock wall shape, too. Just a simple drop point, kind of pseudo clip point style blade. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty heavy because it is a, a steel uh, frame lock. Action um, is violent. Is violent. Either it works or it doesn't, and if it doesn't work, it's going to rip the skin off the end of your finger. But it's a solid little knife. Future me, how much is this little thing? Can't be much. 40 bucks. It is Boker. They like to overprice their stuff. God, that detent's brutal. Good lord. Access to the lock bar is okay. It's a little sharp, but it's fine. Um, ergos, in hand? Yeah, I mean, easy four-finger grip, no problem. Thumb on that jimping, jimped back, uh, back spine of the blade. Nice, uh... Uh, very nice crown spine, so it's comfy. It's very comfy. Some sharp edges down in here when you're locked in, but choke up, thumb way out on the blade, easy peasy. Uh, pinch grip, mm, 60. I'll give it a good 60% of the day. Nothing crazy, but sure. Sure, yeah. Action is okay. It's, it's a couple of shakes. The detent's almost too much. If the detent was backed off a little bit, the action would be chef's kiss. But, man, that's messing up my fingertip. Uh, acoustics are brutal, too. It, like, hurts to 
Ah! Ow! It hurts! It's a violent thing. A violent thing. We'll do a cut test at the end. Let's see what's in the Sabivi pouch. Open it up. Got a little cloth. What is it? What is it? Is it two things? Oh my god! Oh, wow! Okay, alright. We got a spider coat and a QSP. <laughs> in the Sabivi pouch. Sure. Uh, this has to be the QSP mini penguin. Yeah, hell yeah, dude. Look at this thing. Little Chody Foster. Little Chody Foster. Open size comparison. Look out. Look at it. Oh, just look at it. <laughs> look at it. Oh, It's adorable, dude. It's adorable. I love the penguin. An all-time classic budget knife. One of the most recommendable, affordable pocket knives on the market. Period, dude. End of sentence. Look at that guy. Just a little guy. So they literally just took the OG Penguin and shrunk it down. This is the JG10 version. I'm so sorry. JG10 version. Stainless liners. Stamped deep carry clip. Thumb studs. 14C 28N on that sheep's foot in 14C. 14C 28N on the sheep's foot. God, I'm dumb. <laughs> it's great. Lockup is solid. Ergo's in hand. Honestly, four finger grip. Not bad. Thumb out on the blade. No worries. You don't need to choke up because it is so small. Pinch grip. Yeah. Ooh. Sure. 50, 60% of the day. Not the best pinch grip in the world. I'd like a big choil for that, but that's okay. You can still pinch grip it. Beautiful action is, is amazing. Running on bearings. Bearings. Ceramic bearings. Yeah. Thumb flick. Easy. Detents great. Uh-oh. On camera, it's hard. Reverse flick, nice detents, nice and snappy. It's a small blade, so a couple shakes to shut it, but nice. <laughs> it's so adorable, I don't care. Like, even if it was a severely flawed knife, it's so tiny and cute that I just love it. But the good news is, it's not flawed at all. It's just a great, tiny, fifth pocket EDC, lightweight, fun action. I'm sure it cuts well. We'll find out at the end. Big fan. QSP Mini Penguin, we'll be giving that away too. And finally, this guy, which is what? What is this? It's made in the USA. It is a slip joint, which I've been on a kind of a slip joint kick lately. I love the dark maroon burgundy uh, G10 scales. Has to be a slip joint. I can't imagine what else it is. Reversible wire clip. I like the wire clip. Nice jimping here. We got that wacky spider coat blade sticking out. Half stop, very, I've never handled a Spyderco slip joint. So that's a very, very satisfying half stop. It's very dirty. S30V on the blade. Very dirty. Thank you, Robert, for the very dirty knife. <laughs> Bring her all the way open. Very nice. Golden Colorado made in the USA. It's big old booger on there. It's fine. A little semen never hurt nobody. Uh, yeah, dude. What is this, future me? A pen? Is this a UK pen knife? Or is this a, a slip joint stretch? What am I looking at here? Very thin, very lightweight. Ergo's in hand. Oh, cash money, dude. Cash money. Feels great. Full flat grind on that S3V blade, by the way. We got that little, this little section right here on the blade where you just pinch and wrap around. Oh, it's so comfy. It's so comfy. Uh, choke up. Yeah, dude. Pin, sorry, pinch grip, fingers in the holes, pinch grip all day. Pinch grip all day. It's like it was made for it. Pinch grip all day, easy peasy. I can choke up right, ooh, right about here. If I hammer fist it, thumb lands in this little dimple right here. Yeah, it feels great. <laughs> it feels great. What is this? And why do I love it? It's interesting the way this feels. Most slip joints, they kind of feel, they're, they're like spring-loaded. So when they get to about here, they spring open. And then when they get to here, they spring all the way open. Same thing going closed. They get to here and they spring in the half stop. Then you get to about here and they spring shut. But this one is just, you're in full control the whole way through. It's very clean and crisp on the half stop and the full open. Like very clean. I'm genuinely impressed, even with the semen stains on it. I like it. I don't know what it is, but I like it. Uh, so we'll be giving all three of these away, but I do want to cut something with them. Uh, by the way, sorry, size comparison on this weird-ass Spyderco. Spyderco Pair 3, smaller than the, than the Pair 3 by a decent amount, right about Rockwall size. 
right about Rockwall size. So a nice, very thin little EDC slippy. Kind of might need to pick up a Spartaco slip joint, man. But let's cut something with all three, see if they cut at all, real quick. Got a couple sheets out of the, sorry, out of the Crate and Barrel catalog. First off, the Boker Catalyst. Let's see. Oh, shit. <laughs> it felt dull when I rubbed my finger across it. Solid, dude. Cuts like a dream. All right, Boker. Damn, boy, they've only been making blades for like 500 years, so it makes sense. QSP, Penguin, the mini Penguin. Oh, yeah, dude, the Penguin cuts like a dream. All day, all day. Laser beam, no complaints. Cuts great. And finally, this Mystery Spider Co. Again, future me, what is it? I don't know. Yeah, it's a dream. Full flat grind, absurd, like, terrifyingly thin blade stock on this. S like, I'm afraid I'm gonna warp the blade. Like, I'm gonna bend it if I try to cut something too thick. But yeah, it's a freaking lightsaber. Lightsaber, dude, even with the semen stains. Robert! Thank you, man. Thank you for the giveaway donos. Uh, these will be given away. Um, this video will probably go live after the giveaway happens, just the way things are going right now. I've been super busy, been pumping out videos. I'll try to get this video out before the big Christmas giveaway on the 26th. I'll try my best. But the uh, QSP Mini Penguin Future Me, how much is this? And how much is the Catalyst? A uh, thank you. And how much is this Mystery Spider Co? Thank you very much. Future Me will also leave links to all three of these down below if you want to pick one up for yourself. All of them very, I'm assuming, pretty affordable, even the Spider Co. Uh, their slip joints are, you know, 100 bucks, a little bit less maybe. But a solid trio to add to the already massive giveaway. So thank you, Robert. Shout out to him down in the comments. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, Patreon member, hit me up on Instagram, TikTok, threads, I'm out there. But that is it for me. Thank you all oh so very much for watching. And until next time, bye-bye now.